Good afternoon, everyone, and welcome to our virtual student award presentation. I'm Livermore Mayor uh, Bob Warner, and today I'm joined by Zone 7 Board President, uh, President Olivia Sanvong and Cal Water Regional Government Community Affairs Specialist uh, Robert Seeley uh, to present the awards for the Livermore Water Awareness Poster Contest and the uh, Science Odyssey One Water Awards. We're going to start the ceremony by presenting the awards for our poster uh, contest, which has helped elementary school students. Ah, we've just, uh, you'll have to, I've got to change this here. It helped our elementary school students explore the importance of water conservation through art for more than 20 years. And we also uh, always recognize the winners of this contest in May because it is Drinking Water Awareness Month, and Drinking Water Awareness Month allows us to see the vital role tap water plays in our daily lives and the importance of protecting and conserving this valuable resource. This year's uh, students were tasked with creating artwork to match this year's contest theme. Without water, life would be pretty dry. After narrowing down our finalists, over 800 members of the Livermore community cast their votes for the artwork they felt best captured this year's theme. Uh, today, we're gonna start with the winners in our third grade category. And they are in third place, uh, Pravir Singh Sarang from Emma C. Smith Elementary. So we have the uh, artwork there. Uh, Second place is Usha Day from Altamont Creek Elementary. And first place is Stella Marcel from Sunset Elementary. All very uh, colorful and, and great posters. And so congratulations. And with that, um, turn it over to Olivia. Excellent. Those are such lovely posters to see. Thanks so much to all the participants. Good afternoon. I'm Olivia Sanwong, president of the Zone 7 Board of Directors. And I'm so pleased to be here to present these awards today. Um, to give you some background, Zone 7 is your water wholesaler. And we supply treated drinking water to our retailers, such as the City of Livermore and California Water Service, who's here with us today. And we serve over a quarter million people in the Tri-Valley area. We also provide flood protection and proactively manage the groundwater basin that helps sustain us during dry years, such as this one. Supporting our local youth is vitally important, not just to me, but to our current and past boards. And that's why Zone 7 continues to invest in teaching kids to be water savvy. Um, we encourage your interest in water-related topics, and we hope that this will help you become water-wise adults for generations to come. And this is really the concept behind our Kids Zone program, which is the school program that I think a lot of you have probably seen, um, where Zone 7 comes into the schools and we work to educate um, all the students about water. And we hope that all teachers in the Tri-Valley utilize this program to support their students' advancement in water education. And if you visit our um, website or the program website for Kids Zone, I know that we have a lot of um, remote learning uh, options available. Um, so from learning about water quality and the importance of water conservation to protecting the groundwater basin beneath our feet and understanding flood protection, the goal of our program and of events such as the ones that we're celebrating today is to mark students' understanding of our water system and help create a future water leaders for tomorrow. And I have the pleasure of presenting the fourth grade winners of the Livermore Water Awareness Poster Contest. And so in third place, our third place winner is Jacob Ryan from Crocha Elementary. I think I got that right, the name of the elementary school. Well, that's a great picture, I like it. Um, nice job, Jacob. Our second place winner is Selena Sharma from MSC Smith Elementary. Oh, wow, look at that desert, yes. Save water, that's, that's the message for 2021. So thanks so much, Selena, for doing this. And then our first place winner from Rancho Las Positas Elementary is Yul Kim. 
Oh, and that's a nice colorful one with lots of different items to be aware of in terms of you know, water and the importance of water. So thanks so much. A round of applause for all of our fourth grade winners and everybody who participated. Thank you so much. All right, and now I'll turn it over to Robert Seeley for fifth graders. Thank you, Olivia. California Water Service is proud to serve the residents of Livermore and happy to help the businesses and residents save water every day. We encourage customers to take advantage of resources and programs available to help use water wisely. CalWater customers can visit calwater.com slash conservation or contact our customer service center for tips, rebates, and high efficiency devices. We're grateful to partner with the city of Livermore, with Mayor Warner's Zone 7, and Livermore schools on this annual poster contest. It's never too early to educate students about water conservation, and we're delighted to see how many kids took part in this contest. We're so, we were so excited to receive so many creative entries and want to recognize the great work of all the students who participated this year. Now, without further ado, it's time to announce the fifth grade winners. In third place, from Crocha Elementary, Avery Lockhart. Congratulations, Avery. In second place, from Altamont Creek Elementary, Angeline Roy. Congratulations, Angeline. And in first place, from Sunset Elementary, Kayla Dippo. This is all really great work. Congratulations to all the winners. And everyone's artwork is going to be displayed in the Livermore Chamber of Commerce window on First Street during the entire month of May. You're also going to be receiving a Mozart, Einstein, and Me gift card in your email shortly. Congratulations again, everybody. Okay, hey, uh, now we're gonna recognize the winners of this year's One Water Awards. Since 2015, the City of Livermore Water Resources Division has presented these awards at the Livermore Valley Joint Unified School District's Science Odyssey event to students who have completed exceptional science projects focused on water resources related topics. Zone 7 Water Agency joined us as an award co-sponsor last year. Now, first, I would like to recognize our overall winner who received the highest score across all age categories for this award. award. It's Siddharth Menon from the Mendenhall Middle School, eighth grade. A pro and the project was creating electricity from wastewater. That sounds pretty exciting. And before uh, I let you go, I would like, I have a couple of questions for you, uh, Siddharth. Uh, first, if you could tell us why did you pick this topic uh, for your project well i wanted to do my project on electricity generation and i chose to first do just normal hydroelectricity with dams but then i wanted to do something that was unique and different so i chose wastewater because that was something i didn't know much about oh great and i uh, you know, when our previous mayor was an expert uh, water scientist, he still is. And uh, you may not know that in my past life, I was responsible for the uh, connection of all renewable resources to the grid. So this is kind of uh, interesting for me as well. Uh, could you uh, let us know what was the most surprising thing uh, or most fun thing you learned uh, from doing this project? Well, I would say the most interesting thing that I found out is the United States creates around 18 trillion gallons of wastewater per year. And I would say the most fun thing that I will had doing the project was creating a diagram and I animated it a little bit so which was pretty fun. Well great and as, as a scientist I think uh, doing these kinds of things is really a fun thing to do so I hope you uh, continue on and make a, a career out of it. So um, I think now we're on to, and so thank you again and great job, congratulations. And now on to Olivia. Yes, next we'll present the first place winners in our elementary and middle school categories. We'll start with our elementary school division and our first place winner is from Maryland Avenue Elementary School, second grader, Gabriella O'Donnell. 
and I'm not sure if um, she's with Sorry. us. Today. Yeah, Gabrielle, if you're here, can you raise you so you can uh, speak as well? I'll tell you a little bit about her project while we're trying to see if she's here. Her project was do different types of water, faucet water, rainwater, or bottled water affect radish sprout growth? So that would definitely be an interesting one to review. And um, maybe as we're trying to locate her, if she does come back to join us, let me know. We can we can circle back to ask a few questions and um, you know see what she learned from that great project. So congratulations, Gabriella. Thanks so much. Um, so we'll move to the middle school division right now. And our first place winner comes from Christensen Middle School, seventh grader Sanskriti Duby. I don't see Sanskriti either. So I have a hand raised, so I'm going to promote. I'm not sure who this is. Okay, we'll see what we have in a moment. We can. Hi, who is this? Yes, do you do you, so, so your project was on water quality? Water quality. Awesome. Congratulations. Thanks so much for participating and congratulations on winning. Um, do you want to share a little bit with us about, you know, the amount of time that it took for you to run your experiments and a little bit about your experiments too? Um, the project was basically based on uh, a way to um, convert salt water to fresh water. And um, instead of trying to find where fresh water is, since um, only 30% of our world is filled with fresh water, I try to make salt water into fresh water. And the project took around um, 10 to 15 days because I had to gather all my materials and I had to research um, the w different types of ways to uh, the different types of ways to, to purify water. And I thought that the best way to purify water would be boiling it because it's easy, safe, and it can be done at home. And sometimes when people are sick uh, or have a sore throat, they often drink um, warm water to recover. But um, it, the boiling the water did bring the water into a safe zone. However, the safest zone was the water purifier. And the worst one was uh, salt pilots. I also used chlorine drops, which brought the water into also a safe zone, but it had chemicals mixed, so it wasn't really safe to drink. Mm -hmm. So that was all. And how did you measure the safe zone? Uh, I used a water purifier and water test strips. Excellent. So, Very nice. And, and, and the, the water test strips, are those the ones with the colors so you could see yeah, yeah. the ranges? Yeah, and then the water right. is when uh, it says what the water pH level is. Excellent. And did you, you know, th those can be really fun to test. Like if you go to, you know, you have your home and then maybe if you go to a friend's home and then maybe at school, you could, you could test the different water sources there too with those. So if you have extra, that might be another follow-up project. Well, I'd like to invite everyone to give a final round of applause to all of our fantastic students for bringing awareness to water issues through art and discovery and all the amazing experiments that you did. Um, and I know that we're facing drought conditions throughout the state and I'm really inspired and optimistic from seeing the innovation, creativity and passion that's been demonstrated by all of our talented students today. Um, now more than ever, we really need your skills and passions to find solutions to help protect our most precious resource of water. And we really hope you'll continue your work on raising awareness about how we can protect and preserve water resources, whether it's through simple acts of conserving water at home and encouraging your family and friends to join you, or through bigger undertakings such as trying to, um, you know, convert salt water into drinking water. I think that these are really important scientific discoveries for us to continue to pursue. And I know that there's many scientists working on things like trying to create energy out of wastewater and 
um, you know, trying to see, you know, if different types of water can result in, you know, uh, agricultural growth. I know Livermore has a pretty rich agriculture history. So that's um, also a very important project that we got to review today. Um, so we really look forward to watching your bright futures evolve and grow. And we really thank you for your participation today. And thanks again, everyone. One final round of applause for each of you. Congratulations, everyone.